Hello. <laughs> Online ESL companies. What the what? I go away for a couple of weeks, not really vacation. I was traveling. It's a long story, but um, it's not vacation. I'll tell you that. We can talk about that later if you have questions. But I did teach a few first weeks in July, and then I didn't teach the last couple of weeks. And then I come back home and I look at, you know, I've heard, you know, I've been hearing about the whole, you know, tutoring on um, China regulation stuff. I was holding out that it was only going to be for the in-person stuff and hoping, 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 but it didn't. And so, or it hasn't, it doesn't look like it, right? We are, let's see, August 3rd, 2021, making this video at night as I'm about to go to sleep and wake up and hopefully teach two classes in the morning. So to let you know my personal choice, what's going on, I'm currently contracted with uh, three companies, no, four companies. <laughs> I have little icons over here and I'm trying to remember. Um, so I'm contracted with four companies and I'm actively teaching one. The one I'm actively teaching has greatly let go of their people and um, people have left or whatever. It's just I've uh, been watching teachers pretty much cry on their videos. It's been really sad to see. Uh, thankfully, I'm really part time. And in this uh, with, with Zebra English, I don't have any current regulars, but, you know, it's still great to teach these children English and just hopefully improve their lives and, you know, share some love, you know, basically, um, you know, there, there's really a lot of pressure over there, you know, there's a lot of pressure for the education, because there's a lot of pressure in the States, there's a lot of pressure worldwide for education and learning and being number one in the world and uh, just whatever. So the pressure is is great, you know, I can't imagine I never felt that pressure personally from society or family, thankfully, other than, you know, pass and get your, get your papers, right? Um, I put the pressure on myself. So, but these other kids, they have pressure from teachers or parents or, you know, competition within their, their classmates. So it's been really my heart to be that, hey, how's it going, you know? <laughs> Actually, do it this way. Yay. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and finish my classes this week. I know people say you may not get paid, you may not get paid. So I'm feeling hopeful slash confident that I will get paid for what I taught in July. For me, it was a decent amount of money. It's I used to make that weekly, but now I made it within the month because I'm very, very, very part time. And so I'm really confident that I will get paid. So hopefully between August 10th and August 15th, I will see that deposit come in. Now, with this week's class, I, I just feel, I won't say obligated, but I just feel like these kids need light, you know, some kind of cheerfulness, you know, I mean, their parents are probably stressed out. I had taught a trial this morning, a trial, like, hi, welcome to our company, make, you know, book some classes, like, I don't know, I think she just still wanted an English class, right, free English classes, that's what the trials are, they're free English classes, so if these classes are going to go away, they're going to be booking trials, and uh, as long as the companies allow them. Now, I don't know if that then eats into the profit and or our possible potential earnings, I don't know, I don't run the companies, I have no idea, just praying for wisdom for them, that they make better and wise decisions to compensate everyone who has worked and has done all this stuff. Now, switching gears a little bit, so I mainly teach for VIP kid for the three and a half years. When I went on vacation or vacation, I don't, it's not really vacation when I travel. I can't explain it. I'll tell another video. When I travel, I traveled in September, ah, spring break. So for spring break, I took classes off. Then I took classes off pretty much until June, May, June, uh, because our school went back to campus and it was complicated and hectic. I, at that point, messaged all my, got my WeChat, messaged all my regulars, and none of them replied, really. I said, hey, you know, I'm going to go ahead and teach this summer. Let me know. And one student said, they're not doing really well going to the next level, so they're going to postpone it till later. Totally fine. Sounds legit. The other student says, I have one class left. I want it with you. We'll do it later because you're busy. I was. Another student who was my regular, 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 if you look at his classes, I'm the majority of all of his classes. I'm basically his teacher. <laughs> Nothing. Crickets. Now, his parents have um, professions that are 
um, public service or I'm not sure what you'd call them I, without telling them, you know, so I think they just stayed off the radar. So that's fine. That was early June, July or whatever. So then this week, actually, I just messaged uh, again through WeChat. And I want to say this properly. Um, in short, the one that has the one class left, she's like, yes, I want to book you. Let me know. So when I open it, she can go book it. Because what I have heard, though I cannot vouch for it at all, any way, shape, or form, is that some of the families are trying to quickly book all their classes to get them used up. Um, let me look at this real quick. What did I say? I said, I still teach because I hadn't taught since April. They probably thought I just dropped off the planet. I said, I still teach as long as the company allows me new regulations. I hear, thank you for letting me teach you. And that was it. And they just said, yes, now we have new regulations on education. English, ugh, English classes may stop, but now we take more classes every week to access. Okay, so they're trying to consume what they have less, what she said. That's her English, her, the mom. So I said, well, how many do you have left? She's like, I have 45 classes left. Whew, gotta teach all these. So do I teach them? Do I not teach them? Plus she sent me some weird link. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't do that. I don't know. We'll do that later. <laughs> okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Zebra English, I'm going to finish you this week and just go from there. See if you pay me in, in two weeks, uh, whatever, another week. VIP Kid, I am going to open classes for these regulars. If I don't get paid, I'm kind of okay with that because I really have a heart for these children, for them to excel, to learn for their parents struggling. They've already paid for these classes. Um, I'm their chosen teacher, which is so cute. And yeah, it will be, totally suck if I don't get paid. But I think VIP Kid might be the biggest of all of them that can possibly do it. I don't know. It seems that after Kobe's passing that he was one of their investors, it just seemed to tank after that anyway. I don't know if that's related. That's just a side theory that I have. Um, but yeah, I, I really think I have a little bit of, I don't say obligation or even responsibility. I just personally, it's kind of a, I guess an ethical thing, personal ethical thing. You know, my, what I feel is a wise uh, response to this horrible tragedy, honestly. So what are you, what are you doing? Tell me below, what are you doing? What's your choices? What are you doing? Are you, and I would like to, uh, I don't even care. Throw a link in the bottom. <laughs> Tell us your other non-Chinese companies, South Korea, Europe, anywhere in the world. Um, I don't know. Uh, to me, this is a very part-time gig just to have some side cash to help pay for like Disney Plus and Netflix. <laughs> but, um, you know, those are just extras. So um, let me know. Comment, comment, tell me, tell me, send me your referral links. I would love to check out things. We are a community. We need to support each other. We may not agree. We may have different theories. We may say things like I said on a list that they're not hiring foreign teachers. You know, they're not, they're not allowing foreign teachers anymore based on a whole bunch of stuff I saw in red. I don't believe everything I see in red, but this one just really kept um, being the same theme. Uh, they're letting go of the teachers or other staff and they're only letting their internal uh, local Chinese staff teach the classes from here on out or whatever's happening. I also heard another theory or, or suggestion on they're just hitting these ESL companies that are, I forget what they're called, mm, test-based or educate, I don't know what it was, but some of the other companies, some of these companies are considered by tech companies. So they may survive, like I think it was GoGo -Go Kid. I think was one of them. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to say, I can't say names because I want you to quote me. Um, so forgive me for being, you know, transparent in my nighttime top <laughs> and pajama bottom to just share with you. You know, it's, it's hard. It's been very tough for everybody. And just want you to know I'm here and I still, this is a great gig. It is an amazing gig to just do this. And there are other options out there. And so um, I'm going to find something 
to replace it. That's the beautiful thing of having many choices and having a community. So looking forward to your message below and again, connecting with you all here. Bye-bye.